Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We rejoice. We give thanks. I'm so happy that you guys are here right now with me and we are going straight into it. We're going to be looking at um, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and it reads, And we know that in all things... In all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So all things work for our good. All things that are taking place in your life right now, all things that are against you, all things, every agenda that wants you to be in fear, that wants you to be worrying right now, today we're going to come against it. We're going to agree according to Matthew 18 verse 19, which says whatever, listen to this, whatever two or three people agree on. I believe that God decided to use that scripture and i've used it for years and it's been so powerful and i believe as you agree with me today in agreement our faith comes together our faith comes together where my faith is missing your faith completes and then god goes to work as you wherever you are right now i want you to pray i want you to pray with me and we must understand that prayer is not just begging. Prayer is not begging. Prayer is commanding. Prayer is commanding, speaking the word of God into action. Until you open your mouth and speak, the atmosphere around you cannot change. The spiritual realm has dominion over the reality we see. I hope you are still with me. Glory be to God. The spiritual realm, the spiritual realm, what you cannot see. <sighs> I've just taken a deep breath. We cannot see the wind, but you see the effects of the wind. We agree that there is such a thing as wind. Mm. Also, you cannot see fear. Fear is a suggestion, is the enemy's agenda to make you believe or see God in a bad light, in a way that God has forsaken me. God has, he, I know God can never forsake me, so I will not say that with my own mouth. But God cannot forsake you. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to, 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 to retune your spiritual radio. I like that, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I'm here to retune your spiritual radio as you listen to this. Whoever you share this with, whoever you bless with this seed into their life, your life must change for good in Jesus' name. Pray with me, agree with me. Today, your life must change for good in the mighty name of Jesus. The work of the enemy the work of the enemy that has caused there to be darkness and confusion over your life be destroyed right now, be cancelled in Jesus' name. Be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that stands against you that has made you feel less than that, that things are going wrong for you, things are going bad for you. The Bible says everything works for your good. Your challenges are not bad. In the book of James, it says that we should count it joy when we come up against different challenges because this is the testing of our faith to test whether you are on the level of faith that you need to get you to that next level. You have been asking God for something. I am agreeing with you right now. Stretch your hands out. You've been believing for something powerful, something bigger than your own dreams, something bigger than that. You can't achieve it on your own. It has to be, it has to be God. God has to move. I believe that as you agree with me, you are in business. You are in business. We are praying for you right now, for your business to pick up. For your business to overcome. The Bible says that God provided for Elijah and the widow. 
I speak provision into your life. As you say, amen, may you and your family receive abundant provision. May the fear of lack be removed from your mind right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, hey, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You see, I hear it is done in the, in the spiritual realm. And the anointing is so powerful. Just quieten down. Quieten down to hear the anointing. Quieten down. Remove all. You need peace of mind. You need peace of mind. This is why I greet you. More grace, more peace unto you, my brother. More grace, more peace unto you, my sister. God bless you. Remember, you are supposed to walk by faith and not by how it looks. Until next time, you are favored. I am unusually favored and uncommonly blessed. Say it with me.